it's October 31st, 2021. Oh, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Uh, it's Halloween 2021. That's fitting. And for the next five days, um, Allie has no idea where we're headed, where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing, uh, our accommodations, where we're going to be staying. And I got to tell you, I think it's going to knock her socks off. I'm so excited. Stay tuned. Let's go wake her up. Good morning. You know what today is? It's my surprise day. That's right. I'm excited. Are you? Mm-hmm. I need coffee first to get more surprised and excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. So I have to exert a bit of self-control today because I'm not allowed to know where we're going. I can't look at the radio screen because it has the directions and I also don't know how long we're going to be in the car. So yay! Excited for my surprise! I'll get out the blindfold if I have to. I'm still not sure where we're going but I will say the drive has been uh, we're close to the Austrian border. Nick looked that up for us because we kept seeing German flags and Austrian flags and Italian flags together. Um, but we're like passing through all these like ski lodge towns and they're so cool. Um, so if anything, the drive's been worth it. I really want to know, really want to know If I never figure out where the road goes First, when I found out that we were going to be like doing something surprise for me, my initial reaction was maybe Nick's taking me to Florence because I knew we were going to be in Italy and he knows that Florence is my favorite city in the whole wide world. But then I realized we had a car that we weren't doing anything with. So Florence was out of the question. Then I thought, oh, we're going to go to the Dolomites because I'd been throwing out that I wanted to see those for a while. But now we kind of just drove through them and I don't really know how big they are. And I kind of think we're leaving them. So I don't really think that's right anymore. Then I thought, oh, we're close to Austria. I've also really wanted to see Hallstatt for a while. But then I remembered that that's really close to Salzburg and I think we're pretty far from Salzburg. So I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Those are, those are the ones that I have. You want to know what we're doing? Yeah, I got eight minutes. For the next five days, four nights, we will be staying in right outside the town of Castle Roto which is a popular destination in South Tyrol, uh, centered very strategically in the Dolomites. Dolomites, I was right. And uh, so as part of your surprise, we're doing two things you've always wanted to do. Number one, we're visiting the Dolomites. The Dolomites. And number two, we're staying on a farm. Oh, nice. Yes. Agroturisma. Oh my gosh. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Some laying down, some standing up. Split decision on whether it's supposed to rain today. Jumping from cliffs so high 
Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down but We uh, just made about a 45 minute drive from our place to Sasolungo uh, Some of the most beautiful and dramatic peaks here in the Dolomites which we were very excited about hiking As you can tell it snowed a lot yeah <laughs> and we don't have the appropriate shoes for said adventures <laughs> we don't so we're probably gonna have to change our plans but man it's gorgeous and we wanted to get some great footage while we're up here yeah we can make a snowman yeah yeah i don't have any gloves <laughs> that's that's where my mind went <laughs> So this poor guy got stuck like right when we parked our car and he was still stuck when we were about to leave. So Nikki being a hero went and helped him, but it took like, 20, it took a long time, like 20 or 30 minutes. And they ended up having to get like a four by four with like a snow plow. Well, we're right next to a ski lift. They're like preparing for the ski season and all the people that work there are just like, Hey buddy, you're on your own. Like, yeah, not helping. Fun adventures, let's go find a hike or eat our sandwiches at the top of the tram. <laughs> so, change of plans. We're gonna take the cable car up to Alpa de Susi, find a different hike that's maybe more in the sun than what our original hike was gonna be, so hopefully a little less snow. And it's fitting because today is the last day that this lift is open. Yeah. Um, they're gonna close it down for a little bit until ski season, kind of get so. things ready. So I was actually up here yesterday. Um, I ran a half marathon on my 31st birthday. It's wild to be back up here and to see it covered in snow because yesterday it was completely green. Yeah, I bet they got like six inches last night. Yeah, so, maybe more. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but we're hiking down. Our, uh, our plan for the day did not really pan out the way we thought it would. We didn't hike Sasolungo and uh, Alpa de Susi, I guess you could say we kind of hiked. There's a lot of snow. I mean, I think it's really awesome that we got to yeah. be up here, like literally their first snow of the season. No, yeah, it's been tremendous. That's been wonderful. My little wet socks. <laughs> but now we are going to um, walk down. We're going to take the pod and hopefully go do a little exploring of Castle Roto. Yeah. They apparently have the largest church bell tower in the region and they're very proud of it. So I would like to see it up close. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I did not know that. Yep. knowing I'm in Italy but feeling like I'm in Germany. It totally feels it's, like Germany. It's so weird. Like I wasn't anticipating that, you know? Like I don't know, were you anticipating that when you brought me I here? mean I knew that it was part of this area, you know? Like I knew there was a yeah. kind of a Germanic history to this area but I, I didn't realize it was like German villages. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love it.
Well, our time here in the Dolomites in South Tyrol is coming to an end. I have loved every second. We haven't hiked as much as we like wanted to, yeah. but I am just so thankful that we got to come and see these beautiful mountains. Um, it's always been on my bucket list. Absolutely. So thank you for bringing me. Absolutely, babe. <laughs> South Tyrol has been incredible. And guys, I gotta tell you, um, this is not an ad, but Singerhof, where we've stayed, has been amazing. I was just talking with Marlene, uh, one of the owners, and I, I found out that this family farm has been here for over five generations. Wow. Their barn over here is brand new. They just replaced it. The one before had been standing here for over a hundred years. Um, but this has been just an awesome place, very cozy, amazing views. Um, it, it's been a great little reset, even though we got stuck inside yesterday. Um, absolutely loved it. They gave us fresh milk and bread and eggs okay. and yogurt. It was great. They're terrific people. I'll put a link down below. Um, yeah, Singerhof. Check them out. Now we have another pretty decent car ride <laughs> um, to our next destination of Slovenia. Slovenia. So if you want to continue to follow along, the best way to do that is to like and subscribe. See ya.